Okay, in the previous video we uh, carried out a test to determine whether this ghost object is uh, interacting with any unit in the game and we've debugged the unit name in the console to confirm that we are in fact colliding with these units. So in this video I want to combine both the tests and finally get a result which will enable us to build the unit in the game. So in the next one we'll be building the units. So the first thing to do is to uh, open the menu setup and I'm going to combine the two results of the test together in this script. So let's make a public static boolean. I'm going to call this one past heights test and we're going to make another one past trigger test. Okay, so these are static. There's only one instance of this in the whole game. We're going to keep track of whether these tests have been passed or not. So within my ghost trigger, let's just reopen this. We In the previous video we coded the on trigger enter. Okay, so if we're colliding with a unit or an obstacle, then we debug log the name. We want to change this now and say menu setup past trigger test equals false because we collided with something. That's no big deal. But um, we have no scenario now for when we can pass the test. So let's copy and paste on trigger enter and just say on trigger exit because once you've exited the collision we can then say yes we've now passed the test we also have uh, on trigger stay on on trigger stay so if you find any errors in this code you might want to say if we're still in the trigger then we still haven't passed the test but um, just to save overhead in unity I'm going to leave this out for now and another thing when we first start the script when it's attached to the ghost object we can just say menu setup uh, past triggers test equals true because nothing's been uh, collided with yet so the default value is going to be true and uh, I think that's all we need to do for this script quite a simple one so let's just hop over now to the height points test so if we scroll down to the bottom we've um, I'm going to change this bit here to past test because this is where we get the results Instead of saying menu can build unit equals false, let's say menu setup past height test. I think that's what it was called. Yeah. Past height test equals false and replace it here. And we're also going to deal with the material within the uh, menu setup script. Okay, so as you guys can notice with both of these scripts we're not configuring the material or changing anything we're just determining whether we've passed the test or not okay to keep things simple so if we hop back to the menu setup we can scroll down and uh, create another method late update because on the update method we can create the uh, ghost object, instantiate it, we can find out the results of all of our tests and then after all this has happened on late update we can then compile the results and uh, determine whether we can build the unit or not. So firstly we can say if ghost active, if there is a ghost active we can determine the results. We can say if past heights test and past trigger test then we can say ghost transform renderer material equals menu setup green transparent or we can just simply say green transparent now because we're not referring to another script else change it to the red transparent and we can also say here can build unit equals true can build unit equals false okay and whilst we're still in this if ghost active we can then determine whether we can build the unit so if input get mouse button up after we've clicked the mouse button the left mouse button okay so if we've clicked the mouse button and we can build units let's debug log build the unit okay so and just to confirm I'm going to delete the next one this one in a minute so if we cannot build the unit we can say we cannot build unit okay so 
I think that's everything. Let's see if we have any errors. So now the color of the uh, ghost object should be changing uh, according to the, the combination of both the scripts. So I cannot build here because it's slopey and I cannot build here because we are colliding with the wooden post. However, we can build here because there's nothing to stop us from building. Okay, so confirming with the other objects. Okay. So let's double check with the wooden post as well. That's good, we can't build here. We're colliding with uh, other units in the game, colliding with the area of the solar panel. Cool. And um, we have no height points tests for the wooden post because it's so thin, so we can build on the hill. Okay, let's test the uh, wind turbine. We cannot build on top of that either. Cool, so everything seems to be working. I'm left clicking now and uh, my console is showing build the unit. However, if I try to build on the slope, we cannot build the unit. Okay guys, so this is the result of the last few videos. Um, as you can see, the collider updates as well as we're rotating, if I can demonstrate that. So the collider rotates with the actual object turning green and in the next video we'll um, actually build these objects out in the game and uh, do some nice effects and things like that okay so thanks for watching this video uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one